Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines here on a windy day in Western Port Bay and I'm here with Peter Cleland from Bar Crusher Boats and Peter we've got a pretty unique opportunity today we've got two bar crushers which are the same from the floor down but they're different from the floor up um, what are the two models and can you tell us a little bit about the differences between the two okay well uh, the 490 uh, uh, 490C and 490WR they're both the same hull they're both the new Gen 2 hull design with a Delta flare sort of planing plank under the neck the boat. Um, they uh, basically share that water ballast feature, the, um, uh, the durable ridgy deck subfloor which is engineered for strength and durability. Um, they're all high tensile 583 aluminium so they're true plate boats. Uh, so yes, both, uh, both the same hull to the, uh, to the deck level and then uh, the, um, the 490WR has been designed for those people that want to, uh, I guess, poke around in impoundments, estuaries, rivers, you know, flick soft plastics, fly fish. Um, but they're also, uh, we're finding a cracking little coastal boat too on a nice day when you can poke around the edge and, uh, and have a good time in them. And the cuddy, well, uh, designed for bays, estuary, coastal work, a little bit more protection with the cuddy cabin which is popular with families. Um, so yeah, cracking little boats do a great job. That's right. To me, this seems like like a lure caster's boat. This one here, yep. and this one is more like a bait fisherman's boat, and they've been set up that way. Yep. Take us back to the to the water ballast feature. If someone's just owned a standard tinny and they want to get up and move up into a bar crusher, explain the water ballast feature to me. Okay. The water water ballast system is a, is a system whereby there's a tunnel up the middle of the boat that has an opening under the pot at the back, uh, and what happens when the boat stops? Water trickles in. It's a passive system. It's not pumped in and out, so it flows in, drops the boat down on its chines and gives you greater stability. So it allows us to build a deeper V into the boat. So when you're up and running in windy conditions and chop, you find you've got a nice smooth riding hull. When you stop, you've got an, a nice fishing platform that's nice and stable at rest. That's right. It's all about the stability at rest when you're a fisherman and, and they're not the world's beamiest boat, so you need that stability in there. Now, tell us about the uh, the marketing material you have. It talks as the bar crushes as being a step up from a standard clinkered plate, um, aluminium boat. Yep. Um, explain that difference to me. If, I, if I'm out of the marketplace and are looking to upgrade my tinny, yep. why am I going to buy a bar crusher? Okay. Well, bar crusher, I guess, uh, from day one, we've been all about premium. We've been about not building uh, or mass producing a great volume of boats, but rather building a, a, a sort of a boat that's engineered and designed better to give great on-water performance and, and designed and built to a higher standard so that the finish, the welding, uh, using you know uh, high tensile plate aluminium instead of the, uh, the softer coiled material, in most of the most of the hull, um, it, it, trying trying to offer that premium pitch that's going to uh, be very durable, soft riding, uh, offer great stability, and just have a great finish. So that's uh, that's in a nutshell what we've always stood for. I think a lot of people nowadays are very parochial as well. They like to buy a boat that's designed and built in Australia, and both the hull and the trailer both built in Australia. Yes, yep, yep, yep. We package uh, all our boats on easy tow trailers, uh, and we do that. We work very closely with them, and we've. Uh, I guess put our heads together to uh, to try and ensure that the boats give uh, the customer very consistent uh, performance in terms of that launch and retrieve. So we want people to get in and out of the water quickly and easily without any stress. And uh, by working closely with Easy Tow, we've designed a range of trailers that fit the hulls beautifully and deliver that. So now, when we were watching you put these boats in, I, I saw the the launch and retrieve system there. It's, it's an automatic system. Explain yep. how that works to us. Yeah, the bar catch. We wanted a system that was uh, was simple but very functional. And the bar catch system simply uh, uh, hooks onto the uh, hook on the uh, the stem of the boat. Um, uh, that with a, um, a great trailer design that, uh, that levels and aligns the boat well uh, allows it to hook on and go and, and actually on our website we've got a, uh, a video there that shows a boat being uh, retrieved in 20 seconds. People said uh, I told someone one day at a boat show that I, I could get a boat out of the water in 30 seconds and they didn't believe me so we made a video of it doing 20. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you've, uh, you've beat your own standards. Look we're going to go out in the water and give these boats a run and we're going to look at some of the differences between the features of, yep. of the cuddy cabin. Yep. And that walk around boat. To me, this is a, a boat for the north yep. and this is a boat for the south. And today is definitely a southern day. Let's well, see if we can uh, stay out of the weather maybe a little bit. Well, well I thought though the, the WR would be a cracking boat in the warmer climate, but uh, interestingly, uh, they've been going well in Tasmania. Really? <laughs> fly, fly fishermen love them up in the lake. So, you know, it's uh, it's an open boat for all sorts of angling. Nothing beats an open boat, you know, for casting around the boat and playing fish. So, yeah, it's interesting. You know, they're, they're proving popular and. Uh, yeah. So, uh, sorry, I was just going to say, Steve, you know, we've picked a cracking day, haven't we? 20 knots, 
<laughs> That's all right. It was 25 <laughs> yesterday. 20 is fantastic. Yeah. If people want more information on the Bar Crusher boats, where can they go to get that information? Probably the best place is our website. Our website's loaded up with uh, information and specs. Um, if people want to find out more, they can always communicate with us and we can provide further information. If they want to go for a ride in one of these boats, they can uh, um, contact us. We can put them in touch with their local dealer. They can give them uh, some help with their research and take them out in the water. So, Peter, one of the benefits of the Bar Crushers is you call them a fully featured boat. Can you take us through, in, in particular, some of these features and why they're good? Sure, OK. Well, look, our, our design philosophy has always been to try and offer a boat for fishermen that ticks all the boxes with regard to the functionality. So if you look at this boat here, uh, well, in fact, many of the features are shared in both hulls, but we've got a kill tank in the floor. Uh, they've got a, a tread plate floor that's fully sealed, so there's nowhere for, you know, tackle or bait to go down below the floor. A fully sealed floor, people love that. Um, uh, Bait boards, you can either have a, um, a, a standard bait board or you can go for the new uh, uh, live bait tank bait board. reason is some people don't use live bait, some do, so we've tried to give people that flexibility. Um, in terms of the, um, uh, the seat boxes in this model, we've got um, Plano tackle boxes that are yeah, fully hosable in, in each seat box, yep. uh, which is fantastic for that standard tackle you want to leave in your boat. Uh, works really well. Um, you know, pivot and slides on the seats, you know, we haven't skimped in terms of, you know, good quality seating and, um, and uh, you know, allowing some uh, flexibility in how they're set up. Uh, in the front of the boat, you've got plenty of room, nice big hatch, uh, folding windscreen. This boat's 2.1 with the windscreen up and it folds down to 1.8 metres off the ground, uh, so it'll slide into a... That's uh, right, it hinges hinge, back this way. Hing, hinges back over, and uh, so the top of the dashboard is your, uh, your storage height. And this is great for anybody that wants to store a boat in a low carport or garage, so it'll slip away just about anywhere. Um, yeah, nice big front hatch, storage throughout the boat in the side pockets and the pockets in the cabin. Uh, you can get different uh, uh, vinyl canopies or biminis put on them depending on, uh, on what you want with more or less cover. Uh, plenty of room on the dash to, uh, to put electronics. This one's got a stress-free anchor winch which is fantastic for those people that never want to pull up the, uh, the anchor yes. again. So who, who wants to pull an anchor up? No one anymore. <laughs> Not once you've had one, you never go back. And I notice uh, the Min Cater on the open model. Yep, yep, yep. We put the, car, the, uh, the electric motor mount on the, uh, the WR model and uh, a lot of people today um, you know, for their lure fishing are, uh, are using electric motors and, uh, and that boat uh, is just fantastic with that motor on the front. You can poke around the mangroves or oyster leases and have an absolute ball with it. Great. And uh, of course, the final thing, and this is the rub for all of the guys, how much is one of these packages going to set me back? As tested today, today on the water, how much for the uh, open boat and how much for the uh, for the cabin? <laughs> well, that's the best bit, Steve. Depending on where you are and freight and, you know, uh, engine choices and, and option choices, you know, sort of mid-30s price point up to 40. So, yep. I mean, that's, that's where we've tried to position them so that they're a, a very accessible price point to people that are sort of getting into boating or are looking for a you know a premium boat in that mid-30s price point. That's right so if you've got a tinny you're tired of the rough ride you're tired of the instability and you want to step up in the world check out one of these 490 bar crushers. So after a wild and woolly day on Western Port, we took these two bar crushers, the 490C and the 490 Centre Console out for a test. Um, the results weren't that surprising. The cabin boat, much drier, much more comfortable, especially if you've got a family. But the open boat, wow, what a stable platform. A little bit wet when you're quartering a sea, but none of those banging bangs that you get in a tinny when you're hitting into 10, 15, 20 knots of uh, breeze. Both of these boats, with the way they're built with the V and the hull, really take the sting out of uh, out of riding in an aluminium boat. And to me, they ride nearly more like a fiberglass boat than an aluminium boat. Um, this open boat, for the more northern climates, for where you're lure casting, for where you want to have 360 degree access when you're throwing a cast net or maybe crabbing, is ideal. But for these southern climates, if I was living in Melbourne and I was going to buy a boat that could maybe catch a snapper, um, stay out of the weather but still get out on the water on some of these windy days like today, that uh, 490C would be the boat for me. The Suzuki's 60 horsepower four strokes are of course very quiet running and incredibly fuel efficient. Um, Phil who owns one of these boats runs one and gets four kilometres per litre of petrol so that's a 0.25 of a litre per kilometre and that's as good as economy in any boats in this class. Um, for more information check out the Bar Crusher website and read the full reviews in Fishing Monthly magazines.